All right, let's try this again. My name is James Bergstrom. I'm from Maine. I know there's a, there's a lot of people out there who like to compare who you voted for for how you are, which is completely wrong and really dumb. Uh, you know, just because you don't live in a million dollar mansion doesn't make you a piece of crap. Just because you're uneducated doesn't make you a piece of crap. Everybody's different. I mean, there's people out there who don't have a college education or didn't even go to high school or dropped out. And they've broken their back to get to where they are. Just like me and my wife, we've done the same thing. We both work a 40-hour week. We both... You know, buy what we can afford. We don't get food stamps. We don't get any kind of assistance. We live by what we can afford. We don't live a luxurious life. You know, we don't have, you know, $80,000 cars or trucks or nothing like that. We live by what we can afford. We live in a double wide trailer, which is fine by me, I really don't care, but it sits on land, and, you know, we enjoy what we have, and that's the way it should be, it shouldn't be a popularity contest on who's got the biggest house or who's got the best vehicle, and we're, we're nothing like that, and, you know, a lot of people have decided to judge people like me or people like my wife because we don't live like that we don't live poor by any means but we don't live you know we, we don't have the expensive houses or the expensive cars or anything like that we do have toys we do have you know a new garage or we have what we have and it's because we've earned it I'm not out to get a million views or people making just dumb comments on this video. I'm out to let people know that there are regular average people out there and just because you don't have, you know, a million dollar life or even half that, that doesn't mean that you're not any better than anybody else. You're just an average person. Like I said, this, you know, people think that it's a popularity contest, and it's really not, which I don't see why it should be. I think that people who are average Joes and go to work and earn what they've gotten, that shouldn't have a problem. Like I said, me and my wife, we live what we, what we do by what we have. This is what we have, you know? I know that... I can't quite, I can't turn the camera around, but you can see, hold on a minute. That's my wife's truck, yep. See this? Yep. Yes, that's mine. And yes, I realize there's a big dent in the back door, which somebody hit me the other night and left. And then left. After I stop at the store to pick up some beer, of course, yes, yes, I do drink. That doesn't make me a bad person. I don't get drunk. I don't, you know, I like to enjoy my drink. Um, you know, I've come to find out that people really aren't what they appear to be. And I don't mean to judge, be judgmental towards other people. I really don't. I just, you know through the years of living hard and, and growing up from nothing and now having everything that I've ever wanted is that there's people out there who will use you for what they want until they get what they want and then they'll just leave you alone. They won't talk to you anymore. And then there's people out there who are fake. A lot of people are fake. 
You know, they act like their life is perfect and nothing's wrong, and but it's a lie. And by any means, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I've been to jail, I've been to juvie hall, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and if I if if I happen to to have done anyone by wrong by any means, it, it's I, I sincerely apologize. But at the same time, it's kind of a you know, people make dumb decisions, and I I've made my my dumb decisions my whole life. I don't, I'm not trying to justify what I've done in my past, because it's, it's really just a big mistake, you know, I was young, stupid, I don't, I'm not saying what I did when I was younger was the best thing to do, but I really had no choice, when you don't have a choice and you have nothing there to back you up, then no one there to help you, what do you do? Make dumb choices. I've made quite a few of them, and I can imagine there's a lot of people out there who have made them. And, you know, I'm happy for what I have now. I'm, you know, I've, I've came from nothing, and I've accomplished a lot of stuff in my life that I that I never would have done without people in my life like my wife or you know my kids but at the same time it's kind of a it's a shocker it really is it shocks people when you don't know how to accept things like that how to say thank you because you've you, you don't know what that feels like. You don't know what that feels like to accomplish something that's, that's hard to do. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, you know, I've had the worst life more than anybody else because I haven't. But I've seen a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't have. And it made me the man I am today. I mean, I have a lot of things that people just don't have, and I appreciate it, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. I just don't, you know, like I said, then again, it's I don't want people to say, oh my God, he's looking to get, you know, it's a popularity contest. He wants a million views on this video that he's doing, and no, I really don't care. I don't, I really don't, it doesn't matter to me. The people viewing it, I just want people to watch it and understand that there are people out there who work for what they have and, you know, they're not going to, people, people make bad decisions with their money and that, and that's, everybody's done it. But when you, when you have somebody to back you up, to make the right decisions and help you make the right decisions, your life will come together. It'll be complete. You know, you're you're not. You you can't do it on your own. You can, but it's really hard to. And and somebody's got to be there to help you. Somebody's got to be there to back you up to to give you that hand. And that's one thing that I'm very 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 thankful for. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. I really wouldn't. You know, I mean, I might make a couple more videos like this. They might not make sense to a lot of people, but they make sense to me. It's, it's pretty much, this is, this is me wanting to have people to talk to. People who feel the same way. Nobody has, you don't have to feel the same way I do. I, that's your choice. I feel like this because I've came from nothing, and now I have everything that I want, you know, that I want or need, and it's because I worked hard for it. All right, let's keep this video nice and short because I really don't know what else to say, and I'm kind of nervous at the same time, so, but anyways, if anybody wants to get a hold of me, they can email me at j 
Bergstrom, B-E-R-G-S-T-R-O-M, 888 at gmail.com, or just leave a comment on the video if you want to. It's up to you. All right, bye.